Mark, tomorrow NASA will make history by launching the Lucy mission, the first mission to study the Trojan asteroids. Joining us this morning to break it down about the mission and what it means, Lucy expert Tom Wagner. Good morning to you. Hey, good morning to you. Exciting day at NASA. Yeah, so uh, I've heard about this a little bit, but I'll be honest, I don't know much. So break it down. Tell us what we, the non-astrophysicists and non-scientists, need to know. <laughs> yeah, sure. So the Trojans are this really strange and fabulously interesting group of asteroids that are out there around Jupiter, kind of locked in the gravity well in front and behind Jupiter. And they're important to us because we think they're almost like a fossil, and that is a fossil record of the earliest formation of our solar system. And that's why we have this mission out there to study them. And what is Lucy gonna do? So what Lucy's gonna do is it's got a whole bunch of sophisticated cameras and other instruments, and it's gonna fly by seven of these asteroids to determine their characteristics. What are their shapes like? What's their history been? Do they have moons? Do they have rings? And then also to determine their composition, what they are made of. And we even do things like looking at tiny variations in how the satellite moves because of the gravitational pull of these asteroids, we'll even figure out what's inside them. And then we take all this information and put it together to try to understand how our world formed. Yeah, it's really pretty interesting. So, so Lucy's gonna actually start this mission tomorrow. How does that work? Yeah, so tomorrow morning at 5.32 a.m., Lucy's going to blast off. It's going to go out into space and then make two laps by the Earth. And it will use the pull of the Earth to change its direction and increase its speed. And then in, those will happen over the next couple of years. And then it'll fly by an asteroid named Donald Johansson about four years from now that's in the asteroid belt closer to Mars on its way out to these Trojans. And then when it gets there... As soon as it gets close, it's going to start taking pictures and making all these other wonderful measurements and do flybys of a bunch of these different asteroids. Then it comes back in and does another swing by Earth before it goes back out to deep space again. And this is the first time that's ever been done. And are you able to monitor this in real time? Yeah, so NASA's got this thing called the Deep Space Network. You know, in the further away, you can't go faster than the speed of light. So your signals get delayed, but we got a great big system of antennas all over the Earth that are trained on missions like this to help control them and get data back. Yeah, so the public, how can they get involved? Obviously, 5.32 a.m., that's an early wake-up call for a Saturday <laughs> to go out there and watch a launch. But is there some way that you can watch this live as it happened, if this uh, piques your interest this morning? So this is a 12 year mission, right? There's gonna be stuff going on continuously throughout that time. And you know, one of the exciting things is that nowadays we kind of broadcast everything like during, you know, the Mars landing, during the Pluto flyby. So there's gonna be lots of opportunities to take part in this down the road. But anytime you want, tune into at NASA Solar System on Twitter. Uh, there's gonna be a Lucy mission hashtag that's available there you can see. You can also go to nasa.gov backslash Lucy and learn a lot more about the mission itself. And this mission is so long, one of the ways we're encouraging people to participate is to maybe make a time capsule today to open up 12 years from now. Okay, that is cool. And it's just something to do with the kids, you know, as you talk about space and everything going on, it's, it's a fun way to see something that's actually happening right now. Tom Wagner with NASA, appreciate your time this morning and good luck tomorrow. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Go Lucy. <laughs> Go Lucy.